Bacozoids. And we have massive slowdown. That's lovely.
breaking from the fines. Freaking Astro Chicken. Probably going to kick my butt again. Like 
What's lava got to do with it? You've always heard the one you lava, and just let your lava flow. Sounds good. Interesting head formation. He looks like one of those cranium suckers you saw in a scary movie once. Guess that means you'll be safe. Ha ha ha, very this funny. This little purple being is kicking fatty on this game. He's built up an audience. You are visually, you look at it, but nothing's... His arm says, help me. Anything that shortens this guy's lifespan probably makes the universe a safer place. This is one of those exciting racing games where you careen around corners at top speed over crumbling bridges, run over passers-by, collide with other vehicles, and fly off the track. It's called Virtual Amtrak. That doesn't sound fun. An overhead screen advertises a new kiddie-level arcade game in which you walk around Calcutta trying to match the right body part with the leper who lost it. <laughs> uh. It's called Mixed Up Mother Teresa. Joe Goff has mixed up Mother Goose and mixed up fairy tales. Okay, let's see if I can find our cat. Will you be good, little cat? He's getting into everything, so I keep having to go away from the computer. There he is. Yes, we did. Didn't oh, we? yeah, yes, that. Did. I hope to forget that. It was the beginning of my undoing. I was a laughing stock around the company in the final days of Scum Song. I can't imagine why. Oh, well, if that hadn't gotten me, some of my other creative management techniques would have. In you looking at the big picture, I suppose that arrangement left me with all my physical assets intact. Not a single other thing, unfortunately. I'm humiliated to admit that I have on rare occasion resorted to selling cheat sheets for arcade games. <gasps> you monster! I've got to maintain a fairly uh, modest profile, I guess you could say. Time heals wounds and all that. Plus, maybe I can avoid a premature termination. Wow. That's all very interesting. And very boring, if you don't mind my saying. What I want to know is, can you sell me a cheat sheet for Stooge Fighter 3? Well, I think I may be able to facilitate that. I may have one in stock. Okay, here's what I need from you. A nice new bottle of consortium brandy. If you can deliver that, I think we can call it you. My people, I mean, I'll be waiting to take delivery from you so that we can put a bow on this deal. Catch you later. Cats have gotten one of their cat food cans out of the trash. We're carrying it around the, uh... Yes! Uh, oh, I mean, Mr. Wilco, I'm most pleased you've chosen to do business with us. You're just in time, too. I have another party on its way interested in the same item. Oh, well, it is lost. Well, I'll take that off your hands. Uh, now, prior our agreement, Here's your cheat sheet. I'm certain you'll find the game much more interesting now. Also, you look like you could use this fish. Enjoy, Mr. Wilco. I have a real important business in another part of town. I'm Thanks sure you team. do, Elmo. Oh, oh, by the way, I'd appreciate it if you'd not mention our meeting to anyone. Some of those purple skulls, old stockholders, really cool to crash, okay? I can imagine. But they were.
got from El Bo. To guarantee a win, the cheat sheet says, without the choice screen, press the machine's letter buttons in the following order. A, B, B, A, C, A, C, A, N. Be aggressive and attack as much as possible using your new secret weapon. Okay. I win, you're mine to do with as I see 